Come on, son. Really? Old people in pie sauce? Hello everyone, it's Loren, aka the Cosby Kid, and I am back with a cologne tag. Now, this originally started off as the perfume tag, but obviously, I don't wear perfume, so I'm not doing a tag. And if you keep seeing me looking down, I'm looking at my iPad, because I need to see what the questions are, because I'm sorry, I was ill-prepared and I didn't memorize the questions, but just bear with me. We're going to start off with, what is your favorite winter scent? Now... Probably my favorite just scent. Winter scent. Dang. Okay, my favorite winter. Hold on one second. Now, okay, my favorite winter scent is probably Gucci Envy. So I'll put it up to the camera so y'all can see. It's Gucci. And now, they don't make this anymore. It's kind of discontinued. Um, let's see what it smells like. And as you can see, I've killed this bottle. Probably got a drop left. But I'm not really per a person who likes spicy stuff. Like, that is more of my dad's kind of smell. So, this is spicy, but it's like a unique spicy. It's not like wood like you know what i'm saying like patchouli and musk and wood and stuff i don't like those fragrances i don't even know what this smells like it smells good though and um i've had this bottle for a long time but it's gone and unfortunately i can't find it anymore i probably could find it on like amazon or something but it's not that serious next question on a lazy day i reach for Something cool and fresh. Um, Sean John's I Am King, which it's very... I like fresh scents, so this is like grapefruit, mandarin-based. Like, I wear this all the time. Like, this is kind of like my... Like, some of my colognes I keep in my bathroom and some I keep on um, my dresser. So, this, this is the one that's in my bathroom. So, I just... After the shower, I kind of just grab for this one in. So, it's I Am King. You probably have all seen this before. And... I just, I really like the scent of this one. I really like that one. What would you use when you are going on a date? Now it depends because depends on what the date's going to be. Like, is it a date where you're first getting to know somebody or is it a date where they're going to be close up on you, like sitting right next to you? Because if it's a date when where I'm just getting to know someone, I'll probably go for Gucci Guilty. Which is very fresh. It's not like Gucci Envy at all. It's very... I think it's tea-based, just like one of my favorites, which I'll show you shortly, but... I don't know. It's 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 good. Like, it's not, it's, it's not overpowering. It's not one of those, like, damn... He just put all the cologne on. Like, you know, like, you ever walk past somebody who has, like, cheap cologne or very strong cologne and you're like, you die because, like, you instantly get a headache? You're like, sir, really? That's really rude. That's like, cheap cologne and a really strong cologne, to me, is the equivalent of somebody farting next to you. Like, the smell is unpleasant. I don't want it to be in my nostrils. And you really thought that was cool. Like, that's, that's how I feel about cheap cologne and really strong cologne so um most of the cologne i do wear is like re really light and um fresh so it's fresh but it's not like completely a summer scent i would say it's more like fall and spring because it's not super light and fresh like it's not as cool and um like grapefruit mandarin notes like the sean john i am king but this would be one of the scents that i would wear on a date now, the other one, which is my absolute favorite scent, I think it's my signature scent, is one of those scents that if people get close to you, they smell, but, like, it's not one of those very powerful scents. Um, it's kind of like my signature scent, and I never thought I would like a scent like this, because, like I said, most of the time I'm into, like, clean, fresh, like, grapefruit, mandarin kind of notes. Um, but this is tea-based. Um, it is the Gucci Pour Homme 2.
or what I like to call the Gucci 2 or Gucci Dose. And this is the large one because, of course, I love this scent so much. It's just like, it's not one of those very powerful scents, but you spray it on your body, maybe spray it on your shirt or something, and they have, people have to be real close to you to smell it. But when they get close to you, it's like one of those, damn, you smell good. I love you. <laughs> That's what girls say when they smell this on me. It's boss, like, real men wear Gucci porn home too. Like, it's not, it's tea, it's a little spicy, it's fresh, but it's not like those cedarwood, patchouli, musk, like, super, like, dark, I feel like, super winter scent, which I despise completely, because to me, it just reminds me of my dad, and clearly, I'm not that old. Like, uh, my dad's not that old, he's like, he's in his 50s, but still, like. I don't want to smell like my dad. Like, that's just... It works for my dad. It doesn't work for me. But this is my signature go-to scent. And it's the Gucci Pour Home 2. Now, what is the next... I just, like, hit that on the table so hard. It's crazy. What is your high school signature scent? <laughs> it's funny because they don't even make this anymore. And they've changed the name. Um, it used to be called Versace Baby Blue Jeans. And it's... in the bottle like this and it's it's very fresh it kind of smells like baby powder but it's not like that obnoxious baby powder smell like Prada like I, I can't even nah that's not even gonna work Prada smells to me like just straight up baby powder but this it, it's very fresh it has like those grapefruit notes and stuff but now it's versus baby blue jeans which they've kind of like so Versace is up here and versus is like down here so they kind of like uh, put it down the ladder but <clears throat> they still smell the same Smell great. I love this scent. This is this one another one that I keep in the bathroom, like the Sean John um, I Am King scent. So it's very fresh. So I just put this on after the shower. But I wear this a lot in the spring and the summer because it is so light and fresh. And um, I that's this is what people would say I smelled like in high school. I smell like this because um, mainly because my mom would buy this all the time. But <laughs> I smell like this in high school. My current love. I've already mentioned it. It's the Gucci too. Um, It is my absolute favorite. Um, I'll always keep buying this. Now, what is your favorite summer scent? Now, I'm not really the person that says, okay, I have to only wear this in the summer. I wear what I feel like it. I mean, I spent my money on it, so I'm going to wear it whenever I feel like wearing it. That's just my whole philosophy and thing. Um, this is, um, but something that I wear a lot in the summer is the Versace Pour Home. Um, I know I'm not saying that right, but I'm sorry. I'm not French. I'm Spanish, so <laughs> you're going to have to forgive me. Poor homie. For all my players out there. Nah, I'm joking. Poor home. Um, it's just, it's along the lines of the stuff I like. I like fresh scents. I, like, I don't like things that are too strong, too powerful. Um, I will say that a lot of the other fragrances I do wear don't have a very, um, long lasting power. Like, they do probably trickle off of, like, for hours at the most this one lasts a long time with me but it's still very fresh and light um i do wear this a lot in the summer it's one of my favorites along with gucci guilty and the gucci poor home too and my ipad decided to go off so i can't see the next question but yep this is one of my favorites also it's the gucci no it's i already said it's not gucci it's versace it is versace poor home and name a cologne that you regret buying when I talk about this, you're going to be like, well, if you regret buying it, if you don't like it, why is it so empty? Because I've tried, and I've tried again, and I've tried again. I was like the little engine that could when it came to this cologne. It's gross. I absolutely hate it. I don't understand why they would even make it. To me, it smells like old people in, like, like bathroom cleaner, which is not the look. You can't get ladies smelling like old people in bathroom cleaner. Who is attract? I don't want geriatric women. I'm sorry. That's not going to work for me. This is absolutely disgusting. It is Gap the Visionary. And the name, you would think. Visionary? I want to be a visionary. I want to smell like a visionary. I want to smell like somebody who is expected to be great. Somebody that just 
exudes greatness. That's what visionaries mean to me. Like they are people who see past possibilities that other people are closed minded to. So I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna smell fantastic if I buy this. Now this was part of Gap's line like maybe four five, four years ago. Um when they did like four different fragrances that were supposed to be unisex. I don't remember what the other ones are, but this is how long I've had it. And cologne does go bad, but this, like, usually if cologne changes color or um, if it smells different, it has gone bad. This smells just as nasty as it smelled when I first got it. So, I really tried to love it. I was like, okay, as I get older, I might appreciate it. I might like it. But no! To me, it's gross. And it looks like this. It says the visionary on it. Hope you can see that. Um, the visionary. An individual who embraces bold ideas... A person of unusually keen foresight. One who only sees possibilities, not limitations. That sounds like me! I thought I would love it! I hate it. It's gross. <clears throat> What's on your wish list? Um, I don't... I really don't have a wish list because if I like something, if I smell it, I'll probably just go buy it. Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. I do have one on my wish list. I haven't bought it because it does smell very similar to Gucci Guilty. It's Gucci Guilty Intense. And it kind of released like in the same year. So I'm like, I just bought this one. Why? Which released another one, but I think Gucci Guilty 